Hey guys, Chevy Tech here. Wanted to do a quick video on this uh, PC system monitor that I found the other day on Amazon. Uh, I previously purchased a 360 AIO through Thermal, right? Um, and actually really liked it. Uh, the software's not horrible, it's not great, but none of them are. But anyway, I saw this uh, little, I think it's around six and a half inch system monitor. It's $37 on Amazon currently. Um, I ordered this black one to give it a quick test. Uh, loved it in like five seconds flat. And so I went ahead and ordered a white one to go with another PC I already have. Um, I'm gonna do a quick video here showing you basically what it is and how it works and whether, uh, they more or less just give you the info that I have and uh, you can make your own decision. Uh, but for less than 40 bucks delivered to your door, um, this is a great little add-on. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing. Um, note, I've already opened this up, I've already installed it, um, but I threw it back in the box to try to give you somewhat of an idea of how it comes and what you get. Um, it's a very small box. You open it up, there's not a lot in here. Comes with the user manual, it's two languages. Really doesn't say very much. Gives you very, very basic instructions. That being said, there's not a lot to do to get this thing installed. Uh, cables. Comes with two cables. It comes with the USB-C cable um, to internal USB hub. Um, that plugs directly into the monitor. You can use it straight as is. Um, if you have an older motherboard or you're out of USB internal hubs, it does come with a USB-A to internal USB hub that you could plug into any open USB on your computer and then literally plug it in in that manner. Um, so they basically have you covered there. If you do not have any USB, uh, any USB ports or any USB headers, then you're out of luck. Um, but that, that's it when it comes to the accessories. Uh, the device itself came with a peel. I peeled it off yesterday. Um, this is magnetic. Um, it's a pretty strong magnet as well. Um, I was hoping that it would be. Um, for my case, there is a metal uh, cover on top of the uh, power supply and it worked perfectly for me. Um, it is probably three quarters of an inch to almost an inch thick. Um, that would be one caveat. Um, if you're using it at the very front of your case. Um, these are the two magnets. Um, they're just long bar magnets. Um, and then the device itself has a Thermalrite logo on the bottom. Um, I don't know how you would see that in any way you mount this. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take this to the PC and show you how to do a quick install. All right, now that we're at the PC, I'm gonna show you how I threw it in. I'm using just the primary USB-C to internal USB header cable. I'm not gonna cable manage here. I'm just gonna show you how I installed it um, just to show you how easy this can be. Um, but uh, if you've never done it before, the uh, nine pin connector, um, just make sure that you have oriented it correctly. There is one pin that's blocked off. Um, it's literally this easy. You just plug it in. Of course I say that and they won't be able to reach it. So there you go, give you a little bit closer of a look. I hope you can see that. Let me get you a quick flashlight here. Anywho, once again, this isn't a full on tech video, it's just how I'm doing it. So I plugged that into a USB internal port, then you have their USB-C hub. I, was also, I have also already installed the software. Um, if anyone is interested in seeing how to do that, uh, just comment in the video. If I get any, anybody wants to see how it's done, I will do a quick video on that as well. Um, the uh, Thermalrite logo is on the bottom of the screen, um, how it comes oriented. Literally all you have to do is plug it in. Since this already has the, uh, my, since my PC already has the software, it should basically just fire right up. We'll give that a second. I don't know if you've heard that, but 
pretty hard smack because the magnets are quite potent. And there you go. I've got it set up for my needs. Right now I've got it, the two, uh, the two sensors, if you want to call them that. I have the CPU there at 41 degrees and I have the GPU there at 42 degrees. Um, I also have, you can see the, uh, the RPM there on the CPU, that is the CPU fan. Um, so that's the CPU fan header. Um, that the thick software, that's what Thermalright software is called, um, it's pulling that information from. The zero RPM with 34 watts is my GPU, which is because it's currently not really being used. Um, and then below it you'll see it's running 195 megahertz currently at zero percent usage, it's just idle. Um, I've got the date and time on there, sorry for the camera work. Um, and then uh, the same thing over there for the CPU, the CPU usage and its overall processing. Um, I'm gonna throw on um, a little fur mark here real quick so I can show you the speed at which it reacts. Um, it's actually very good. I'm just so thrilled at how cheap this is and how quick it works. So I'm gonna open up fur mark over here and I'm not gonna start it while you're staring at that but I'm gonna bring it back over to the screen here and I'm going to click the GPU test at 3440 by 1440. Um, it, uh, you know, put a little stress on the, uh, on the GPU and see how fast it reacts. In three, two, one. See that temperature react fairly quick. As you can see the Driver come online, the CPU, or the, excuse me, the GPU fans have fired up. It's running 262 watts. Uh, you can see how fast it reacts. It's, it's nearly instantaneous. There's not a lot of lag. Um, it took me actually a second to uh, fire up uh, the Furmark only because when I clicked the go button, it immediately said, are you sure you want to do that? So that's, there was the delay there. But, uh, but yeah, so fans fired up, moves fairly quickly. Um, right now, since I don't have the glass panel on this case, it, uh, it's not reacting, or the CPU is not reacting super quickly because it's not catching heat from the GPU currently. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and kill Furmark here and wrap this up. So Furmark is off, immediately reacts, and it's just very quick. It gives me a lot of comfort to know that it's, there's not a lot of lag. If I ever notice that it's just sitting there not doing anything, I would probably restart the driver. Anyway, so yeah, this, this works great, and it works great in this case as well. I guess that's one other caveat. Um, this GPU cover, or excuse me, sorry, the power supply cover is, is metal in this case. So if that was as hard as it was to put it on, I just threw it on there. And the glass fits fine in this. As long as you have it right there at the top, the glass fits in, no problem. Um, now, how you would use it in your case varies on where you have metal in your case. Um, I've seen some pictures online that people actually put it on the top of their case or on the side of their case. However you want to do it, that's completely up to you. Um, this case is ginormous. Um, it is a Pro Art, you know, Asus Pro Art, uh, PA602, it's massive. This is that case that's got the two 200 millimeter fans in the front. It's got a 140 in the rear, and it also has three 140s for the AIO if you run a 420. Anywho, there you go. Um, once again, if, uh, if you're interested in this, I would jump on this one quick. It is on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the, uh, in the description of this video. Um, $37 plus tax delivered. Can't beat that. Um, there is all sorts of things you can do to edit this. The software is not super easy to use, um, but if you have even a little bit of computer knowledge, um, it's very easy to, to play around with it and figure it out. If you're interested in seeing how to do that, let me know. I'll record another video giving you a quick walkthrough of that. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know. Thanks. Have a great one.